So today we're going to be looking at 3D printing with Mastercam. Now typically with uh, 3D printing you want to be using an STL that you send to your slicer. Now depending on what slicer you use depends on uh, what 3D printer you have. Uh, I happen to have a MakerBot so I use the MakerBot slicer. Now with the full license of Mastercam you can export any file type needed, STL, steps, whatever, uh, using the save some functionality. Uh, but with Mastercam HLE, which many students or uh, non-paying customers are, are using, you cannot export any file type at all, only uh, EMCAM files. So no STLs, no STEP files, no nothing. So today I'm going to show you how you can get around this and actually export STLs two different ways actually uh, from your HLE version of Mastercam. Now you might be thinking there's no way to, to, to skirt the HLE rules about exporting STLs. You might think that there's, surely I can't be serious about this. I am serious, and don't call me sure. Getting into 3D printing, uh, I guess the first question here is, why would you want to be using Mastercam to do your CAD design for 3D printing? A uh, simple answer to that is basically uh, maybe you've learned Mastercam, you've learned it for tool pathing first and also realized that there is some CAD functionality in it uh, and you've gotten used to it and you're good with, uh, with modeling in Mastercam. Uh, so for you, um, making parts inside Mastercam is easy and it's, it's a nice first choice. However, if you're using the HLE version as many students are doing or those who are looking for free software might be doing, uh, you're going to realize that you can't export your designs as an STL and bring them into your printer. So here we're going to look at two different ways that we can actually get around this little rule in HLE. Uh, so first things first, we've got this part open in Mashcam. It's all designed up. And what I'm going to do first is just hop into a, a mill uh, machine. So once I've got that, I've now got access to toolpaths. And the toolpath I want to make, uh, quotation marks, uh, toolpath, is I want to make a stock model. So the stock model, uh, I am in 2020 HLE, because 2021 HLE is not quite out yet. Uh, but in 2021 HLE, we can skip this next step, which is naming this uh, stock model something. So I'm calling it one, two, three, four. And I'm going to go and select my solid part as my uh, basis for this stock model. So no uh, operations to put on it. I'm just, I'm just making a stock model uh, as is. Green check. Here's my stock model, uh, one, two, three, four. And now I can actually take this and I can export this stock model from my HLE. So I am in HLE, I'm in 2020 HLE. So now with this selected and created, again, under stock model, there's an export as STL. And this export STL does in fact work for HLE. Uh, so here we go, just find a place we want to stick this. I'm going to go in... I'm going to go in this folder here. Uh, unfortunately, at least for me, this might be different in your version of HLE. I don't have the access to the options for the export. Uh, if you're in the full version of Mashcam, you can control the export uh, resolution of this STL. Uh, but since we don't have this option in here, it's going to default to the standard, which I'll show you how to get to in one second. We click save. Uh, I've already done this before, but, but yes, it overwrites it. So here I am in Windows Explorer, and there is that exported file. I, I called it an easy button, and there it is. It's a .stl file, and there's the size. Now this size changes, obviously, depending on the resolution that you pick. You may need to do some experimenting with the resolution that you need for your 3D printer to get a good print. Uh, but that resolution you can, uh, you can get to in the configuration of your uh, Mastercam setup. So here I am on the converters page. Lower right hand corner, STL export, uh, there's the default resolution set at 1000. Okay, so you can set that up or down depending on uh, what you are after. Uh, method number two, so that one is probably the easiest way to do it. Um, now why would you want to use this option number two? I don't know, but let's just look at it and have us <laughs> a look at how we can use this. So for this guy, what I'm going to do is actually use my uh, machine setup. I'm going to go into my stock setup. And I'm going to go to Solid Mesh and select uh, my solid as my stock setup. So with that, uh, in my simulation verify options, this is set to use the stock setup as the stock to simulate my initial verify from. 
So as long as I make some sort of toolpath here, it doesn't need to do anything, it just needs to be a toolpath so that we can launch into Verify. And let's click on Verify. So there is that stock uh, defined, opened as our simulation stock for Verify. Now from here, over on the Verify tab, I can come over here and save stock as an STL. And again, for HLE, this will in fact work. So I'll hop back over to that same folder. And let's just name this one uh, something slightly different. Number two, click save. And again, that's a second option uh, for exporting this file. So this method of export, this method number two, will take a little bit longer to generate the file. Uh, resolution is controlled over here in our options. Uh, here it is here, STL, uh, save tolerance. Let's bring back up our file explorer and look at the two different files, uh, number one versus number two. Uh, you can see there is a bit of a difference in file size. Uh, so again, going through the verify option, which was method number two, even though we were set to the same resolution, resulted in a file slightly smaller. Uh, so again, there might be some extra noise or, or uh, evening of surfaces once it's brought into Verify. So, so you have to experiment with resolutions and export methods to see what works best for you and your 3D slicer. Uh, most likely the first one is probably going to provide the best results. Not only is it quicker, but uh, I think it's a much cleaner file. Uh, but once you've got them exported, you should be able to open up your, your 3D slicer, import that STL, and away you go with your 3D printing.